Now, traders at Axis Bank say investors are wrapping up the month on a cautious mode, uh, while cherry picking a few bond instruments for the TBL side. The active trend is expected to persist given the improvement in system liquidity. Ibube Uneze, Treasury team member at Axis Bank, joins me now for more market movements. Ibube, thanks a lot for your time on the show today. Let's start off the conversation looking at uh, liquidity levels. Uh, we've seen a slight dip, but that still remains in the green following this week's uh, Omo auction settlement. Walk us through the details here. Thank you, David, for having me. So as you rightly pointed out um, yesterday, we saw the market open in a decline of um, $329 billion, um, to open in a credit of $149 billion. Um, despite um, this decline in system liquidity, we still saw um, the OPR and overnight rates um, decline to close the day at 28.8% and 29.5% respectively. Um, the decline in system liquidity can be attributed to the OMO auction, which um, we saw the central bank float an OMO auction on Wednesday, where they sold a total of um, 500 billion um, was on offer. However, at the auction, a total of um, over 900 billion was sold, um, largely skewed to the 363-day bill. Uh, we saw the 363-day the bill close at 22.34 percent, which was um, a decline from the previous auction on Friday, which closed at 22.49 percent. And now let's talk about the expectations of more OMO auction as well. All right, thank you, David, for the question. So um, the, the, as we know, the central bank has adopted a hawkish policy stance to ensure that um, we continue to fight inflation. Inflation figures printed at 33.69%, which is still above the CBN's expectation of 21%. So we still expect that the central bank will do all it needs to do to ensure that um, these inflation figures are brought within the target limit. So, of course, um, the general market sentiment is that as liquidity improves in the system, we expect to see more home auctions being floated by the central bank to rein in this um, excess liquidity in the system. Now, Ebube, talking about the T-bills and the bond market, the secondary market, now let's talk about the yield rate environment, the movements we've seen so far across the curve, how are investors positioning in terms of uh, looking forward into the month of uh, June? Thank you, David. So in the, in the Treasury bills market, um, the market opened yesterday. Um, on a rather active note, um, as a lot of investors um, came into the market to meet the unmet demand at the OMO auction. So consequently, we saw um, rates decline um, from the auction stop closing stop rates um, to about 21.8% on the one year um, recently issued OMO bill. Um, um, on the, uh, by the close of market, we saw rates inch up by at about four basis points across um, the curve. Um, so generally going into next month, investors are um, taking advantage of these high interest rates on, on instruments and um, riding the curve while they anticipate um, further rate hikes and, and increases by the central bank. Well, Ebube, we've also seen the forces of demand and supply still remain the same. This week, we started off with the Naira gaining some lost ground. And in between, just yesterday, we saw it depreciate against the greenback. Where lies the future of the Naira as we look forward into the new month? Thank you, David. Um, so as you rightly noted, um, the Naira is currently trading around um, 1,400 levels. Um, at the NIFEX, the Naira closed at 1,439, while at the NIFEM, the Naira closed at 1,484 yesterday. Um, the, the, as you also pointed out, um, during the week, we saw the Naira appreciate significant, significantly by over 200 Naira to close at 1,200 levels. Um, it's the general market consensus is that rates would continue to hover between 1,003 and 1,400. And this is on the back of um, expected um, F foreign currency inflows um, by next month. Uh, we noted earlier today that um, this 
the government has received over $800 million from the World Bank for the electricity subsidy um, fund. And this is one out of many uh, multilateral um, funding activities which the government has been embarking on. Um, this is also um, against the um, expected um, euro bond issuance which the government is looking at doing towards the end of um, June or um, starting um, quarter three of this year. So all these inflows are expected to further bring a lot of cushion to the currency and help in the um, stabilization of the exchange rate.